Hey, past Kenny, it's me, future Kenny. You sexy son of a bitch, listen to me. You've got to fix your watch. You're going to mess up the movie times. You're going to wind up going to a wrinkle in time instead of annihilation again. And trust me, a wrinkle in time is bad. I just saw it. I had to sit there in the movie theater in this soda stained shirt because you didn't fix your watch like you said you would last week. This is all your fault, Kenny, you sexy son of a bitch. Honey? Yep. What time is it? Uh, it's four o'clock. I gotta get a new watch. Ah. Review. Review! Hi everybody, it's your old pal Kenny from Ski TV. A Wrinkle in Time is a new movie based on a very popular children's book written by Madeline Lingle. Wonderful, beautiful story. Came out in the 60s, has captured imaginations for decades. It's my favorite book, not a very good movie, and it's so sad. I kind of had a feeling they were going to mess it up. They did so big time. So the story is about three children. It takes place in the present day. A young girl and her brother, a friend of theirs, they meet an older woman who tells them she knows how to get to their father. She, along with two other women, the missuses, help them test or travel to different worlds in the fifth dimension. Wrinkle time and space. Instead of traveling a long distance, what you're going to do is bring the two distances together. You're folding space and time. I'm sure you've heard that in tons of other science fiction movies. It folds space so that point A and point B coexist in the same space and time. So a wormhole bends space like this. The quickest option is to walk across the street. The ant arrives in my hand instantaneously. So you fold space. More likely wrinkle it. The main character's name is Meg. Very shy, low self-esteem, hatred towards the world. Your typical middle school girl. She's played by Storm Reed, wonderful actress. She tries her best, not her fault at all. She did the best with what she had. I honestly have to blame a lot of this on the script. The movie is a wonderful, beautiful film that is just filled with problems. Beautiful words that Madeline Lingle has presented in the book. Great science fiction filled with imaginative characters, great fantasy, didn't know how to put it together. It's all about spectacle, bright colors, glitter. I mean, it's pretty. It's a very pretty movie. Terrible acting. Reese Witherspoon phoned it in. I'm sorry, Oprah Winfrey. You get a bad review. You get a bad review. You get a bad review. Everyone in the film gets a bad review! The actor who played young Calvin, you were terrible. You should stop acting immediately. That's pretty mean. Don't put that in there, Sarah. A lot of the humor falls flat. That's the problem with a lot of this story. It's tone. One point you're wacky zany, and another point you're near tears. Vanilla, dark. Goofy, serious. See how pretty it is? Ah. Uh... If you follow any kind of plot for a movie, you got the introduction, rising action, climax, falling action, the resolution. They got rid of the falling action. So when the conclusion happens at the end of the movie, what the hell just happened? The movie's over? If you take out falling action and just kind of skip to the end, you have got no movie. There is a point in the book that you absolutely need, but it's not in the movie. It's hard to critique this movie without bringing up the book. There's going to be differences. I expect that. That's no problem. You lose that, that point in which the character finds her confidence, who is severely lacking, summon up enough courage for her to go back and face the villain. You need that point. It got lost in translation. This book might be unfilmable. Uh, so it's frustrating. I'm frustrated. It's a bummer. It's a big time bummer. A wrinkle in time. Should have been called a waste of my time. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll have a good translation of A Wrinkle in Time on the big screen. I hope to live to see that day. But that is not today. That is not today. So what did we learn today, Kenny? 
By finding confidence in yourself, you can accomplish the impossible. Love is all that matters. Skip this movie. Van Hathaway is watching. Hey. I should probably stop talking to Anne Hathaway, but not, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep doing it.